हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड मॉर्निंग दिस इज शिप्रा होप यू ऑल आर गुड सो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट फर्स्ट चैप्टर ऑफ साइंस फॉर क्लास सेवन दिस चैप्टर इज न्यूट्रिशन एंड प्लांट्स सो स्टूडेंट्स दिस चैप्टर विल कवर द फॉलोइंग टॉपिक्स दैट इज एन इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ न्यूट्रिशन एंड न्यूट्रिय then mode of nutrition in plants photosynthesis food making process in plants other modes of nutrition in plants and replenishment of nutrients in the soil so first we will start with nutrition so students what is nutrition 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 is the process in which an organism takes its food inside its body and then this food is utilized by that organism in order to survive means for all metabolic activities of organisms that organism get nutrition from the food that's why food is very important for all of us for all animals including human beings as well as for plants so how we get nutrition from food because food contains some chemical compounds and that chemical compounds which are present in food that chemical compounds are called nutrients so here seven type of nutrients are there that is carbohydrates proteins fats vitamins minerals water and roughage roughage is also called as dietary fiber as we know students that carbohydrates and fats are called energy giving nutrients because they provide us energy proteins help in the growth of uh, our body and uh, they help in repairing of worn out cells that's why proteins are called as body building nutrients then vitamins and minerals are protective nutrients because they pro protect us from many infections and diseases and uh, water water is the uni for uh, universal uh, solvent which is very important for all metabolic activities that takes place in our body and roughage roughage is very important for the proper digestion of food now students as we know that plants can make their own food and all animals directly or indirectly they are dependent on plants for their food now <clears throat> now this is a mind map from which you will be able to clear about the mode of nutrition in plants so mode of nutrition in plants can be divided into autotrophic nutrition and heterotrophic nutrition see here two images i have given first one is a green plant means autotrophic plant and next one is a non green plant so it is a heterotrophic plant now we will start the mode of nutrition in plants so on the basis of habit of uh, taking food plants may be of autotrophic or heterotrophic so first we will start with autotrophic nutrition for this we should know about autotroph which is made up of two words that is auto and tropos auto means self and tropos means nourishment means the organism that can prepare that can make their own food are called autotroph and this type of nutrition is called autotrophic nutrition so the example of autotrophs are all green plants because green plants have the photosynthetic pigment they can do photosynthesis they can prepare their own food that's why they are autotrophs and some bacteria some bacteria are also having the capability to perform photosynthesis and they can also prepare their own food next 
part is heterotrophic nutrition so heterotroph what is made up of two words that is hetero and trophos hetero means other trophos means nourishment the organism that depend on other living plants for food these are called heterotrophic plants and this nutrition is called heterotrophic nutrition as for example all non green plants and some bacteria some bacteria are also there that cannot make their uh, own food and they come in the category of heterotrophic now next is autotrophic nutrition so autotrophic nutrition we all are knowing so the organism that can make their own food they are autotroph then nutrition is called autotrophic nutrition now the process by which they can make their food that process is photosynthesis so here we will discuss about photosynthesis food making process in plants so this word photosynthesis was given by sir charles reed burness in 1883 the term is made up of two terms that is photo and synthesis here yeah, photo means light and synthesis means to synthesize or to make or to prepare so the process by which green plants can make their food by using carbon dioxide and water with the help of sunlight and chlorophyll this process is called photosynthesis green plants of green sorry green parts of plants contain chlorophyll which gives green color to the plants it also have a capability to trap solar energy means chlorophyll pigment have the capability to trap solar energy and this solar energy is utilized in making food for plants the raw materials for this process are carbon dioxide and water leaves of the plant take carbon dioxide from atmosphere which enters in the leaves through stomata and water and minerals are absorbed by root hairs from soil now carbon dioxide and water combine together in the presence of sunlight with the help of chlorophyll here food is formed in the form of glucose which is stored as starch and that starch is stored in different uh, parts of plants all of you are knowing that uh, you have studied in sixth class also the modification of plant where different parts of plants stored the starch as food material now during photosynthesis oxygen gas is also released in the atmosphere all of you knowing that oxygen gas is very important for us we perform the process of respiration breathing by using this uh, oxygen that we take from atmosphere so see students how much plants are important for us they are making food that food is utilized by us for all animals also and they are uh, releasing oxygen gas also which is a, a very important gas for us we perform respiration and without oxygen we cannot survive so we can say that we can uh, say that plants are very important for us <clears throat> this is a chemical reaction of photosynthesis in which carbon dioxide reacts with water in the presence of sunlight with the help of chlorophyll and form glucose and oxygen so glucose is the first product which is formed as food in the plant and two images i have given first image is showing the process of, uh, of photosynthesis how sunlight is absorbed and how carbon dioxide is entered in the plants and plant is performing photosynthesis and then releasing oxygen next image is showing the location and structure of stomata
now we are knowing that the green plants uh means green parts of uh, plants especially the leaves they are containing chlorophyll and they are performing photosynthesis and they form food but other parts of plant also except leaves other green plants as a stem and green branches also uh they perform photosynthesis and they form food now the food forms in the form of uh, glucose this food is stored as starch and we can test the starch that starch is present or starch is formed as the, the food product we can test it by using iodine solution all of you knowing that when starch reacts with iodine solution it gives blue black color and photosynthesis also occurs uh, other colored leaves except green colors such as red brown yellow orange colored leaves also in these leaves uh, chlorophyll is present but some other pigments are also present so other pigments they hide or they conceal the color of the chlorophyll pigment that's why the color of the leaf can vary they uh, may be of other different uh, types or other different colors but that leaves also perform photosynthesis now the other modes of nutrition in plants other modes of nutrition means two modes of nutrition we have studied autotrophic is completed now next one is heterotrophic so heterotrophic all of you knowing hetero means other trophos means nourishment means when the plants dependent on other living plants for their nutrition then such type of nutrition is called heterotrophic nutrition so here in heterotrophic nutrition uh, we will study about four important type of plants that is parasitic plants insectivorous plants saprophytic plants and symbiotic plants now first we will study about parasitic plants so parasitic plants are the plants which may be green colored or non green colored but they take nutrition from other living plants either they can take wholesome nutrition from uh, other living plants or some of the nutritional requirement requirement is fulfilled by other living plants so these plants are the parasitic plants and the plants uh, from which they take nutrition that plants are called host plants they have modified roots that roots are called hostoria which penetrates the host plant and they do draw nutrition from <coughs> them then parasitic plants may be of two types that is total parasitic plants and partial parasitic plants so first of all we will discuss about total parasitic plants so total parasitic plants are the plants that are completely they are dependent on host plant so complete and then completely means their all requirements including the food water minerals shelter all requirements are fulfilled by their host plant and these plants are non green plants non green plants means they are a chlorophyllous plants means they are totally unable to make their own food such type of parasitic plants which are completely or totally dependent on other living plants for their food such type of plants are called total parasitic plants as for example we can take the example of uh, dodder or amarvel dodder is the english name amarvel is the hindi name and cascata cascata is the scientific name or botanical name of the plant now next type of pa uh, parasitic plant is partial parasitic plant partial means half means these plants are partially not totally not completely they are partially dependent on other plants other living plants students these plants are green plants means they have photosynthetic pigment that is chlorophyll means they are able to perform photosynthesis and they can make their own food so just for other nutritional requirements as water and minerals 
they grow on other plants and they take nutrition from other plants and they can make their own food so they are not totally dependent on other plants that's why they are partial parasitic plants so its example is mistletoe okay students uh next type of heterotrophic plant we will discuss in our next part of the video and uh, okay thank you